Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKX Jump here, and this week it is finally Christmas, one of the biggest events of the year for Idle Heroes. Now, this Christmas has a lot of interesting things, whether you're a spender or a free-to-play player, and one of the biggest things is free-to-play players might not be approaching this event how we normally would a Christmas event. So I'm going to be talking massively about how free-to-play players can maximize the value out of this event without falling down one of the many pit holes that are available, because there's a lot of traps this week, and I'm kind of scared a lot of you are going to fall for it. So today's video is going to save you from that. If you're a spender, there's lots of ways you can approach this as well. Tons of opportunities to boost your treasure train, get rewards for destiny power, maybe it's sublimation or cores that you need. A lot of stuff for everybody to enjoy. So folks, let's go and jump straight in. But before we do, let me remind you about Patreon. Patreon is a way that you can back me and support me financially to help fund the series, I'm doing and also get yourself rewards in return, such as account reviews, which we do through Discord and Twitch on a Tuesday. If you want more information about that, Twitch and Discord links are in the description. And if you want to join me on Patreon, why don't you hit that link up there in the top corner of the screen? A shout out goes to this week's backer, Andre Moore. Thank you so much. I hope to see you on a Tuesday. Anyway, let's go check out this week's Christmas event for Idle Heroes. So, every day for logging in, we're going to get ourselves three Heroic Summon Scrolls and 150 gems, and they're going to be really helpful. The scrolls will help you do Heroic Summon events, and the gems are so good for this week. There's so much to enjoy. So the whole rundown of what we have is we have our normal event, which is a standard Transcendence event. So if you haven't seen, Yorm Tum has become Transcended. So here he is in all his splendor. The guy is absolutely ripped. However, I'm not going to be talking about him today. I'll make a follow-up video discussing if he's any good. So subscribe if you want to catch that. Today, we're focusing on the event itself. So the cool event is Palace of Eternity, and you can pick whatever hero you want from here. So your reward hero this week doesn't have to be Yorm Tom. It can be any hero in the game. So maybe you need Eloise copy still because you're a new player. Maybe you want Carry. Maybe you want to go with any other dark or light hero. Heck, you might even want to go with Yorm Tom. Whatever you want here, you can pick it. Vulcan, Mockman, Aspen, Go Nuts, they're all available. However, if you're not planning on using scrolls this week, go into your bag and look for a hero you have many, many copies of. Gaggy, I've got eight copies of. So what I could do is choose Gaggy as my up hero and then go ahead and summon all those Gaggy copies. Now, the reason we would do that is because there's a hero lottery. Every time you get a copy of that new hero, you get four star armor. So if you're not planning on doing scrolls, it doesn't matter who your up hero is. So that's a nice way of picking them up. However, another person you could put in is someone you want to get copies of even though you're not using scrolls, and you can do that through the Palace of Eternity. Any of the five heroes here can be switched for the hero you choose, and that's going to cost you 10 Eternal Crystals to go and do that. To get Eternal Crystals, you do need to use Heroic Summons, though, and you get five for every 400 Heroic Summons used, and if you go ahead and buy the $100 package that contains the Palace Key, that will unlock one of these lower levels to get you an additional 15, assuming you've already done the prerequisite 400 scrolls. So that's how that all works. Now, the Soul Awakening session from last week is giving everyone their rewards in a few days time so congratulations to anyone that made it at the top of the leaderboard um which is quite a lot of you man people did some crazy summons and people walked away with really high level heroes so congrats on that value packages are gems heroic summon scrolls and charm treasure coupons for the christmas event if you grab some of these and you don't want to go for the christmas event you can turn them into normal treasure coupons at the end of the week as well so this could potentially be good if you really want to get the heroic summon scrolls or you really need to get some treasure coupons but it's a pretty nice way to use your contract stories actually to get yourself a ton of treasure coupons as well because that can actually turbo a lot of your rewards so something to think about there if you want to make a lot of progress in the treasure train we've also got our summon prizes this is the way that you get that hero you chose as an up hero for getting to 400 points that needs 400 scrolls and you also get the normal profit orbs and heroic summon scrolls as well as some treasure coupons thrown in there too there's your core of transcendence for getting to 300 along with some soul symbols and you get an andrea copy for getting to 200 so that's all normal stuff for heroic summons and if you get to 500 you get 15 glorious relics a core of transcendence and a as well some more charm treasure coupons now on the topic of glorious relics take a look at the relic store elusive mirror has finally been added this is great for anyone that wants to use it for passive energy gain most accounts will be recommended to have two splendid elusive mirrors by the time you reach late game so potentially something very cool especially for people who were struggling to get mirror copies in the past so it's good to see it's finally available for free to plays awesome now 
The final thing here is the hero exchange event. This is allowing us to get any of the light and dark heroes you see here at a heavily discounted price. Asmodel and Aspen are going for 3,000 apiece. Eos and Mockman are both going for 4,000. And as well, you can get a Vulcan or an Elena for 5,000. So if you've got some of these stones, you can go ahead and grab them. Now, the main stuff is the Christmas event, and there's a lot to take in here, so make sure you get your pen and paper ready to figure out what the hell is going on. First thing, we get our wish chances. This allows us to make a wish every single day, which will get us a random reward. That could be glorious relics like I got, or it can be cause of transcendence, heroic summons, and basically, if you log in every day, you will get all of the rewards you see here. So it's a nice way to get some additional gems, some heroic summon scrolls, profit ups. It will all eventually be yours. At the end of the week, once you've done all seven, you can go ahead and pick yourself a reward here. Now, don't be scammed. You might see this and go, ooh, a lemon chest, but this only contains 18,000 sublimation essence. If you look at this core chest, this is actually a scam as well. It only contains 10. So people might look at this and go, wow, that's a full core chest. No, it isn't. It's a trap. What you really should be going for, for most people, is Stellar Shards, Master's Toolboxes if you're struggling as them and you're a free-to-play player, or actually Starspawn Core Fives. These are pretty rare and difficult to pick up. So they would be my recommendations for players to grab. If in doubt, Stellar Shards are a definite win. Now, moving on, you also have the Stockings. These are fantastic. This is giving you guaranteed rewards every single day, and this will stack up if you haven't bought it at the first day of the event. So this is a brilliant way to get yourself a lot of resources. So every day, if you grab this free stocking, which you absolutely should do, you're going to be getting eight Heroic Summon Scrolls and 1,000 gems. On top of that, you're going to be getting one Core of Transcendence and 15 Heroic Scrolls every day if you spend 5,000 gems. That's incredibly good value. Definitely pick this up if you've got 5,000 gems going spare. On top of that, for 10,000 gems, you get two Cores of Transcendence, 25 Heroic Summon Scrolls, and a Christmas Biscuit. And these Christmas Biscuits are fantastic. More on those later. And again, that's every single day. So that's 175 Heroic Summon Scrolls for the entire week for 10,000 gems. Not to mention you're getting 14 Cores of Transcendence as well. Very good value. And if you've got Contract Story gems to spare, you could even get yourself 21 Cores of Transcendence across the week, 21 Charm Treasure Coupons, and seven more Christmas Biscuits. And again, these Christmas Biscuits are fantastic. Also, if you buy the relay and actually get far enough in there, you're getting 300 contract story gems every day, as well as 30 heroic summon scrolls and two more Christmas biscuits. So again, this adds up and is a huge amount of rewards. Really cool, definitely worth grabbing. And I think if you if you guys have the money to get the relay or even just the gems and the story gems around, you should be grabbing these. These stockings are one of the best parts of Christmas. Now, the Christmas storybook is where our major rewards are intended to come from, and I think this is where things start to get very, very complicated. Normally during a Transcendence event, we have a store that looks like this, and you would have just a list of different things you can do to get points, and then you can cash them in for prizes. Well, DH Games have added one extra step. We need to get these crowns that you can see here, and those crowns can be used to complete stories, and then stories will get us rainbows, which then can be used in the store. Whenever they do something like this, it results in a very awkward way of getting top rewards, which potentially can mess up free-to-play players or even people that want to spend and realize they're getting screwed. So let's first of all break down what these stories are about. So first things first is you can choose whatever story you want. You can go with story one, story two, story three, or story four. Bear in mind, they give different rewards. So story one is giving you a core chest or stellar shards. Story two is giving you sublimation or stellar shards. Story three is giving you spirit vein shards or crystals of transcendence. And story four is giving you aurora gems or crystals of transcendence. Grab whichever of you need here and go ahead and do the story. Once you're inside a story, you'll see that there are several different grayed out images. There's 10 in total, and each one requires you to have eight crowns to unlock. You'll get a random reward for doing that and two rainbow blessings. So if you do all 10, that's a total of 20 rainbow blessings. On top of that, each story is getting you a further 10 rainbow blessings as well, which means for doing a whole story, you need 80 crowns and they get you 30 rainbows. Be warned though, once you've selected the story you do, you cannot undo that decision. So think very carefully before you choose. Do you need core chests? Do you need sublimation? Do you need divine power resources like spirit vein shards or aurora gems? Definitely select the one you need, but once you've picked it, you can't change it. So the question is, how do we get crowns then? Because we already know that we need 80 to complete a story. Well, you get 40 of them for doing heroic summons, and it's 50 is going to get you one. So you need 2,000 heroic summon scrolls to get 40. 
This is an issue. That means if you're a free-to-play player, you spend 2,000 scrolls, you're not even getting enough to complete one of these stories. And this is the problem with the event. The stories are so backloaded because they get you 30 rainbows. And 30 rainbows, plus the rewards you see here, is actually huge if you can do it. It's getting you three top prizes. You can, in theory, if you do that, get three Core of Origin chests. You get one from here, and then you get two from this store. And that's going to be using 30 rainbows, right? 14 to 28. That's two Core of Origin chests. You get three Core of Origin chests if you go in on this. However, if you can only partially go in on this, you get nothing because you need to complete a story to get all those rainbows. So 80 crowns is actually really hard because 40 crowns requires you to go ahead and do 2,000 heroic summon scrolls. You get an additional 25 for summoning 55 stars, but that doesn't even add up to 80. That's 65. So you have to awaken heroes in the soul temple 15 times to get the additional rewards. I don't think that's worth it. That's a ton of awakens wasted that could be used during a gala. And last week, DH Games already showed us that they were prepared to give us B plus stones as top rewards in galas. So we already know that actually awakening heroes outside of a gala is a bad thing to do, unless you're really, really stocked with contract story gems. So I'm looking at this thinking for a free to play player, I would not go wasting my contract stories for this. I just don't see the value in it. I think it's absolutely mad. As well, you've got to use 2,000 Heroic Summon Scrolls. If you don't, you could use 1,500, but then you've got to do 25 Awakens as well. That is a huge ask of free-to-play players, and that's going to tap you dry of all your scrolls. You'll have nothing for Chinese New Year, and I just don't think it's a worthwhile investment of your resources. So actually, I think this whole story mode is a huge trap, and what I would personally do instead is just go ahead, if you're a free-to-play player, pick up 25 crowns from here for summoning five star heroes do that to unlock three different things in a story and that will get you six rainbows six rainbows is then enough to go ahead and buy this cloud island chest and that contains master's toolboxes if you want it and that's really helpful for free to play players so i think that's actually your best decision don't use your scrolls don't waste your contract story gems on awakens save all that for future events and actually just go ahead and grab your master's toolboxes call it a day there's already so much here for free-to-play players to enjoy that actually the scroll part of the event ends up being really bad. There are better scroll events in the future when Transcendence Heroes come out that don't require you to invest as much stuff, will not require you to do Awakens, and therefore can get you things like Sublimation without causing you to overstretch yourself. Now, one awkward thing is if you only do one story, it costs you 18 rainbows to get Spirit Vein Shards or Aurora Gems. You can't actually pick up anything else with the additional 12, so you're forced to go and grab two Cloud Island chests, which is a little irritating because you can't actually just get something like this. This is only 13, so that's really annoying that they've done that. They've done that on purpose as well. Like, if this was 12 and 12 and then this one was 15, that would actually be way better for us because then we'd be able to get these Spirit Vein Shards and one of those packs. So they intentionally have done it in a way that kind of screws you over and you will end up needing to get some more crowns if you do want to get Spirit Vein Shards and, let's say, sub from the 13 as well. If you have loads of rainbows though, you can even go up here and get yourself a bunch of spirit vein shards, and that's technically better value because you're also getting the glittery Christmas tree as well, which is pretty decent. And that does require you to spend or push really deep with awakens and scrolls, and I think for most people, that's probably not worth it. There will be much better ways to use your scrolls to get destiny upgrades in the future. Moving on down, we have the dream competition. This basically is a way that we can all dogpile in on one hero and get ourselves a bunch of prizes. If you pick the wrong hero, you don't get as many prizes. So go with the right one. I think all of us, Barry's stream, my stream, we're all going to go for the new guy. So make sure you pick him and that's hopefully going to win and you'll walk away with a ton of cores. So make sure you do that. At the end of the day, it's going to be 10 cores of transcendence for all of us. That's pretty good moving on we as well have the gingerbread house this is where it really gets spicy this is the best part of this event every day you're getting six of those christmas biscuits don't forget you get more just from those stockings as well that's another huge part of this right remember they're in here too so you can get 14 of them as well across the week so you get six every day plus the 14 from there and you can also buy 50 of them if you have 25,000 gems that's a total of 105 of these biscuits that you can pick up as a free-to-play player spenders can get even more for every four bucks you spend you get an additional christmas biscuit which then of course you can go ahead and use too so it's even better if you're a spender but let's just talk about what happens so basically you open those gingerbread men and there's a 10 percent chance to pick the top guy here this winking santa gingerbread however 
you also will get one guaranteed if you open 10 biscuits and don't get a single one. So there are ways to guarantee you get them too, but it's very likely you'll be pulling them and then that timer will reset. So I'd expect to get around 20 of these gingerbread men as a free to play player doing 105 of them, which means you'll get your times 15 reward here, which is going to get you a C minus awakening crystal and a treasure shard Christmas snowman, which is pretty fun. If you are able to super high roll and get 30 of the top gingerbread men, your rewards are times to buy four. What does that mean? Well, there's a released lucky number every single day this week, and that lucky number corresponds to your top gingerbread man. That gingerbread man will be getting you any of the rewards you see here. Now, if that lucky number is pulled, those rewards are tripled. And if you get up to here, they're quadrupled instead. If you get 45 top gingerbread men, that's five times rewards you'll get instead. And if you go all the way to 80, it's times seven. And for 100, it's times 10. Not to mention, for going all the way up this, you're getting awakening crystals, you're getting treasure train items, there's the orange chests, you're getting the new Christmas tree, there's pink chests here as well, a ton of stuff to boost your treasure train with festival limited items. Very cool, and bonusing these rewards is just so, so worth it. So in my opinion, if you guys can, this is the best use of your gems this week, as well as the stockings. So that's a total of 40,000 gems you're going to need. 25,000 for this, 15,000 for the stockings. Don't forget you're going Getting loads of gems for logging in anyway and also from the stockings themselves so hopefully this shouldn't be too hard for free to play players also spenders go nuts because if you guys can get those top top rewards you're walking away with a ton of stuff you're getting stellar shards hit by that multiplier you're getting star spawn core sixes hit by that multiplier cause of transcendence hit by that multiplier this is a huge way to boost your progress on any account especially if you're a newer whale that's going to turbo your progress along with the fact of getting master's toolboxes and contract story gems all stuff to help you even transcendence copy chests which will be useful for future galas this is nuts so yeah if you guys can this is the best part of the event we've had events like this before and every time this comes up Everyone in the community just goes, yes, we love these events. And we'll probably be getting one at Chinese New Year as well. So make sure you save your gems for that, as that's only a few weeks away. Now, also, we have Yorm Tum made into a Transcendence Hero. So there will be an event here for having a battle with a Yorm Tum and any of the following Transcendence Heroes. So with a Hyperspace Hunter Alamac, that's going to get you an Elite Shard. With Geister, that's an Elite Shard. Doppelganger Natalia, that's going to be a Dark Shard. Therapist of Blood Betty, that's going to be a Light Shard. And actually, if you get a fight with Yorm Tum and Chaos Bound Spirit, betty you'll get yourself five cores of transcendence so if you want to get someone to help you with that join our community discord you will find people who are doing the transcendence fight i know our main moderator talking scribe will be doing that you can add him as a friend and if you go ahead and attack him you will get a fight done with yom tum and therapist of blood betty chaos bound spirit gaggy and all the other ones to get you all of the rewards to basically give you a ton of stuff for free. So make sure you join us for that one. On top of that, we've also got a Soul Awakening Gala, like a little mini one, where if you only awaken Yorm Tums, can't be any other hero, has to be Yorm Tum, you'll get points just like a normal Gala, and that will get you rewards. You get Transcendence Chests, an Eminent Chest, and finally, you get yourself Glorious Flags, or a mysterious artifact chest and this chest does contain elusive mirror so that's pretty nice if you are chasing that let's say you are doing your awakens awakening your tum copies therefore is a pretty smart idea just to get you some bonus rewards we've got a series collection which means you can go ahead and obtain coupons by spending money every six bucks will get you a charm treasure coupon and you can use the coupons that you do manage to accumulate this week to get rewards 30 of them get you an orange chest 60 gets you another one and 100 gets you a pink chest and this contains every festival item from from the past year so that's all very exciting now if you want advice on what you should be pulling from your treasure train it should typically be encapsulated memories this is amazing as it gives crit damage if you've already fully completed that it would be worth going for the sweet slumber as this gives holy damage further to that we do have some new items that have come out for christmas you'll see we have the glistening christmas tree this gives you speed for mages rangers and assassins this is fantastic you might see that and go, huh? Why not warriors? Why not priests? Well, rangers include Holora and Freya, so it can help you if you're struggling to make your Holora or Freya faster than your main damage dealer, if it's a Lord of Fear Aspen or a Vulcan or a Mockman, for example. So this is brilliant for allowing a hero like Holora or Freya to be quicker and solves a lot of your problems, which makes it a very, very cool artifact to have indeed. Now, these other ones aren't great, though, as sadly they're only giving HP and attack percentages, which ain't fantastic. So these are best avoided, and this is for warrior and priests only. So unfortunately, they're not so great. 
And the final part of this week's event is what a spenders get. Well, a spender will get themselves the Christmas relay package. This is pretty solid. It's getting you loads of Christmas biscuits. So that's already brilliant. Not to mention you're getting Christmas biscuits for every $4 spent. It's getting you charm treasure coupons. Not to mention it's also getting you charm treasure coupons for every $6 spent. And you're getting scrolls and you're getting gems. So this is a huge boost. You'll notice there's also cause of transcendence in this. So this is definitely worth picking up. Look at all the Christmas biscuits thrown in here. So if there was ever a relay to pick up, this is the one. Look, there you go. That Christmas stocking also becomes available. Of course, that Christmas stocking gets you a load more Christmas biscuits, scrolls, and contract story gems. And it just all adds up to be an absolutely incredible pile of rewards. The total for this is 93 bucks. I would definitely consider if I was a spender to push at least up to the stocking. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see spenders get this $50 package at the end as well, as that's getting you 30 paper crowns, 46 more Christmas biscuits, 21 charm treasure coupons, not to mention all the additional ones as well you get a skin for the new hero and that's got control immunity attack and speed and you also get half a million stellar shards a bunch of cause of transcendence relics and gems it's just an incredible relay all in all and if you're a spender I would strongly encourage you to grab it as it will massively help your account. So yeah, a bit of a crazy event. Free to play players. Surprise, we're not going to be using our scrolls this week. Spenders, there's loads to go ahead and enjoy. And there's plenty of rewards, especially loads of master's toolboxes and things like that that free to play players can get this week. So make sure you stockpile those cores, scrolls, and all those gems that you can pick up. And make sure you go ahead after those Christmas biscuits as they are incredibly valuable. Next week, we've got the New Year event. So that's going to be a pretty exciting version of a Wishing Fountain event. Make sure you've saved up wishing coins as many as you possibly can for this, as that's going to be brilliant. And maybe the Mysterious Chest event will be good. It's highly unlikely, though. So we'll just have to wait and see what comes up here. But I am strongly expecting a really, really good wishing coin event. So that'll be nice, too. So that's this week's event. Let me know what you're going to be doing, whether you're going to be spending, whether you're a free-to-play player who's just going to be holding those resources and grabbing everything in. And honestly, I think it's quite good that free-to-play players can save their scrolls because Chinese New Year is also a typically good heroic summon scroll event. So the fact that we don't feel forced to go after this one ends up being really good because it means, as well, a lot of people went after Halloween so they haven't got scrolls. So it's just giving you more time to save scrolls and it's helping you save scrolls. Just think of all the scrolls we can get as players this week. The fact you you can walk away with i think 300 plus free scrolls mad and that's massively going to be useful so make sure you save them and don't use them if you're a free-to-play player and of course if you're a spender work out the area you're going in on how many treasure coupons you can pick up how many christmas biscuits you can pick up and just kind of have a good think before you go in this event has a lot of different angles and it would be exhaustive to cover them all in this video so hopefully you can find a path with my help and i'll see you guys later on let us know in the comments what your plan is Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to catch more event reviews like this one, such as next week's New Year event, and I'll see you then. Until then, though, have a great week, and happy idling, and Merry Christmas.